our set of notes today is about the five ideals. Our textbook is really organized around five main ideals, and those ideals um, come out of our Declaration of Independence. So this picture here, famous painting of the signing of the Declaration, and that's really the source for where these five ideals come from. In the Declaration, our Founding Fathers decided and basically established the U.S. would be a country built on some founding ideals. So what does ideals mean? What is an ideal? An ideal is basically a goal of perfection in some area that we're always trying to achieve, right? If something is ideal, it is perfect, okay? So if you think about, you know, your ideal vacation, if you close your eyes and think about that, you may think of, you know, um, a sunny day at the beach. Or if you're a snow person, you may think, you know, hitting the slopes in Colorado. You know, just ideal is perfection. So when we talk about America's five ideals, we're talking about five areas where our founding fathers really wanted us to aim for perfection. And the, the easiest way to remember these is by the acronym OLDER, O-L-D-E-R, where each letter stands for one of the words. And those are opportunity, liberty, democracy, equality, and rights, O-L-D-E-R. So we're going to quickly talk about what each one means, and then you'll have an opportunity to respond to um, a question at the end. So first off is opportunity. What does it mean? Opportunity, simply put, is the chance for people to pursue their hopes and dreams. And that's a major theme in American history, right? As we'll discover from the earliest settlers all the way to today, um, Americans have wanted the chance to chase their dreams, right? So the picture here shows a wagon train moving out west, right? Lots of settlers going out west for opportunity. The second is liberty. And this one is super easy. Liberty simply means freedom. And perhaps the best symbol of that in our country is the Statue of Liberty, right? We'll discover she represents a lot of things to a lot of people. Um, but liberty simply means freedom. And that can mean freedom in a lot of different ways. Freedom of religion, freedom of expression, freedom of speech. But all of those are centered around this idea of we want our country to be a place where we have liberty. Democracy. This one may be a little bit more familiar to you. A system of government where the government gets its power from the people, usually through elections. So there's a picture of my daughter um, exercising her democratic right. right. Very happy about the fact that she has voted. Okay? So democracy, um, think power comes from the people, as opposed to some other systems where um, the people don't have much power. Equality simply means when all people are treated and valued the same way. The Civil Rights Movement, for example, is a great historical example of where um, people stood up and fought for equality. That African Americans would receive the same treatment as whites. The last one is rights, and rights is a, probably a little bit harder to understand, but what it means is the powers or privileges that are granted to people simply because they're citizens, right? If you are a citizen of the country, right, you have certain rights, right? um, One of our best examples of that is our Bill of Rights, right? The right to bear arms, right? The, um, you know, the, the, the different rights and privileges of the First Amendment, right? The freedom, you know, that you have freedom of speech, you have freedom of the press, you have freedom of religion. You don't have to apply for those things. They're just granted to you because you are a citizen of our country. 
So, all of those notes are already there in the notes you should have downloaded from portals. If you haven't downloaded the notes from portals, you need to go to portals and download the notes. At the bottom, there's a spot, a spot where it says response question. And what I want you to do is respond. First off, write this question down in the, in the question box where it says write the response question here. Highlight that and replace it with this question. Of the five ideals, which do you feel is the most important and why? Of the five ideals, which do you feel is the most important and why? So type that question into the little box where it says question. And then in the box underneath it where it says response, I want you to answer the question. Now you don't need to write a book, but a couple of sentences. You know, maybe three or four sentences. Which ideal do you feel is the most important? And give me a couple of sentences explaining why you feel that one is the most.